Hi everyone, this is Nick and I'd like to welcome you to a walkthrough on how you can create a CDP private cloud based deployment for the trial version. To make things simple, we're going to be spooling up our resources using AWS infrastructure and we'll provide the necessary scripts referenced in this video in a tutorial that we'll link below. Now to go ahead and get started, we'll assume you've already downloaded the assets needed from the tutorial. So the first step is to run the create IaaS script, which you shouldn't need to modify. It's very important that you pay attention to the summary and action item outputs from the script as we'll be needing them in the following steps. Once the script finishes running successfully, we'll have to map the IP addresses so that our system can properly reference the new infrastructure. We do this by modifying the host file with the output of the script seen here. With our IP addresses mapped, now we'll need to run some quick commands on our newly created nodes. Note your IP addresses will differ from what you see in this video. Here, we're reducing the swappiness value to enhance performance by keeping more pages in memory. Now that the infrastructure is set up, we'll need to download the trial version of CDP Private Cloud. We'll provide a link to this download page in the description below. Note that you need to run the commands to download the trial version on the primary node that we've set up. Once you've followed the few steps on the trial download page, it's time to run the Cloudera Manager server on the primary node. After agreeing to the license, you should see the installation begin. Once the installation completes, you'll be directed to a URL in which to log into the Cloudera Manager. Note that you can use the CDP trial URL on port 7180 as well, as referenced in the tutorial. Now that we're in Cloudera Manager, we can select Try Cloudera Data Platform for 60 days and continue with our installation. Note that you can ignore these warnings as we're installing the trial version. Now let's give our cluster a name and move on to specifying the hosts. Here's where the output of the script comes in handy. For the repository, we'll use the default Cloudera repository and just remove some of the parcel repos that we won't be using. Next up, we'll select to install a Cloudera provided version of OpenJDK. For login credentials, we'll select another user, in this case CentOS, and we'll provide the location of the CDP trial key. On the next step, you should see agent installation will start automatically. Once it's successful, we can move on and let it install the parcels as well. Once the parcels are installed, we'll let the Cloudera Manager inspect the clusters. You may get a page compaction warning as seen here, but we can safely ignore that for now. Upon hitting finish, we'll now configure our new cluster. For this example, we're going to set up a data engineering service. We'll need to assign specific roles to the correct nodes, and for more specific instructions, please refer to the tutorial linked below. To set up the database, we'll use the embedded option. For the following required parameters, we've used a generic password, but you can create your own password here if you'd like. Now we let Cloudera Manager run the commands, and once it finishes, we end up with a successfully installed cluster. All said and done, you should see a home screen that looks somewhat like this. Once you're done using the trial and you're ready to move on to the real thing, you can tear down the infrastructure that was created by running the provided cleanup IaaS script. Thanks for following along today. If you found this interesting, don't forget to subscribe to see future videos. If you have any questions, head on over to the Cloudera community, where there are plenty of other users ready to help answer any questions you may have.